Hi, I'm Sheng Yu, a junior undergraduate from Yale class, Tsinghua University. I will present characterization of group strategy proof mechanisms for facility location in strictly convex space. This is a joint work with Ping Zhong and Ding Li. In a single facility location game of N agents, every agent reports the location, and the mechanism chooses the location of the facility. The cost of each agent is the distance between the facility location and her true location. A mechanism is strategy proof if no one can be better off by misreporting. In other words, the outcome of the mechanism cannot be closer even if she reports a fake location. A mechanism is group strategy proof if no group of agents can jointly misreport their inputs to the algorithm so that all members are strictly better off. We studied the class of group strategy proof mechanisms in any unconstrained multidimensional strictly convex space. For example, Euclid distance or generally any LP norm, after an arbitrary affine transformation is strictly convex. Characterization of truthful mechanisms for voting problems has received a great amount of attention in the past few decades. An important breakthrough in this literature was made by Molly. A complete characterization of strategy-proof social choice functions, in other words, deterministic mechanisms over one-dimensional single-picked preferences, known as the median voter schemes. Border and Jordan extend Mullins' result to the Euclid space and show that it induces to the median voter schemes in each dimension separately. Barbara et al. further show that this separability generalizes to any L1 norm. Some more restricted domains are also studied, for example, a compact set of the Euclid space. However, there is no result about randomized mechanisms in such settings. An approximation perspective of this problem was first introduced by Prokasha and Tannenholz. They study approximately optimal strategy-proof mechanisms for facility games under social cost and maximum cost objectives while taking care of randomized mechanisms. They focus on the one-dimensional setting. They show that the median mechanism is optimal for social cost and group strategy-proof. They also propose an interesting randomized mechanism for maximum cost, which 3 over 2 approximates the optimum and also guarantees the group strategy proofness. They further prove no strategy proof mechanism can do better than this. Many follow up works are concerned with the approximation bonds of facility games on a line or a network, including many facilities and nonlinear costs. However, none of the previous works studies randomized mechanisms in any multidimensional space. Is there a possibility of group strategy proofness in multidimensional space? A special case, deterministic group strategy proof mechanisms in the Euclid space has long been investigated. Boards et al. show that any deterministic group strategy proof mechanisms in the Euclid space must be dictatorial. Yet the approximation bound or even possibility of group strategy proofness with respect to any other norm is still unknown, let alone randomized mechanisms. In this paper, we show that any deterministic, unanimous, and group strategy proof mechanism in any strictly convex space must be dictatorial. This is a direct generalization of Bohr's et al.'s Euclid space characterization, but is proved in a different and more general way. For randomized mechanisms, we show that any unanimous transition invariant and group strategy proof mechanisms in any strictly convex space must be too dictatorial. Here we say a mechanism is too dictatorial if the output always dies on the segment between the two dictators. Formal definitions of these concepts will be introduced in the next two slides. These characterizations directly imply tight bounds of approximately optimal mechanisms under both maximum cost and social cost objectives, except for the little gap of the randomized mechanisms for the social cost objective. We develop a series of technical tools to facilitate our characterizations. Here we give a brief overview. First, scale reduction enables us to establish results for small-scale cases and then reduce general cases into those small-scale cases by induction. Second, we apply output space reduction to rule out some locations or random distributions that are not preferred by any agents. 
Typically, the output is only possible to be a convex combination over some agency inputs. Third, we establish a fundamental property called cost continuity. The cost continuity states that the expected distance between the output and some agent's location must be a continuous function. This may not seem a strong property at first glance, but by moving in small steps, we utilize the cost continuity to further prove other local properties and successfully generalize them to the whole space. Now let's clarify the concepts. A strictly convex space is a norm vector space that, given any two vectors in different directions, the triangle inequality strictly holds. A location profile is vector of agent's location. A mechanism f is a function mapping a location profile to the output location of the facility. Note, the mechanism can be randomized. This means that the output can be a distribution. The cost of an agent is the expected distance between the output and her true location. Unanimity says that if all agents report the same location, then the output must be that location. In fact, a mechanism that is non-unanimous can be unbounded in terms of approximation under both social cost and maximum cost objectives. Translational invariance says that if we apply a translation to the inputs, the mechanism must output a location that is the result of the same translation to the original output. If we prove a mechanism to be dictatorial, it means that the outcome is always the location that the dictator reports. If we prove a mechanism to be too dictatorial, it means that the outcome, or the support of the output distribution, always lies on the segment between the two dictators' inputs. In the earlier years, Gilbert et al.'s 1977 characterization introduced a concept called dual where the outcome is restricted to a fixed pair of alternatives. But here, the outcome of a two dictatorial mechanism can be a mixture over the whole segment between the two dictators. We first warm up by considering the deterministic case. What does group strategy proof mechanisms look like? The trivial dictatorship mechanism designates an agent and always returns her location, and it is group strategy proof. What is the performance of this mechanism? It is two approximation for maximum cost and n minus 1 approximation for social cost, given the worst case as shown in this figure. Unfortunately, we will show that the dictatorship is the only possibility of deterministic, unanimous, and group strategy proof mechanisms in any strictly convex space. Here comes our proof sketch. We begin with a simple but useful lemma, the uncompromising property. The name of this property ref refers back to the Borders and Jordan's paper. If we move an agent to the output location, and if the output changes to the red cross, then this agent can misreport the original location, and the output becomes closer to her, which contradicts the strategy proofness. So we can move any agents to the output without changing the output location. Then we apply the output space reduction. When there are two agents, x1 and x2, if the output black circle does not lie on the segment between the two agents, then they can collaborate to misreport the same location, for example the red circle in this figure. And by the unanimity, the output should be the red circle as well, which becomes closer for both agents, so the group strategy proofness is violated. Now we begin with the base case where n equals 2. The result of this base case will be used afterwards for skill reduction. The following lemma states, if the mechanism is dictatorial in some profile, then it must be dictatorial over all profiles. For example, this figure shows a profile whether the, uh, where the output coincides with x1, the red dot, and we want to move the other agent x2 to anywhere we want, for example x2 prime. When we move x2 one step forward, the output must not be closer to the original x2's location by the strategy proofness. In this figure, it must be outside the circle. At the same time, the output must lie on the segment between the two agents as we shown before. 
so the only possible output remains to be the location of the dictator x1. The same analysis is applied to each step. Actually, we can always find a profile such that the condition of this diamond holds, so we can claim the dictatorship in this special case. Our theorem 1 generalizes the base case to any number of agents. Intuitively, if we divide the agents into two groups, where each group of agents share the same location, we can conclude that one of them is the group of dictators by the base case. We can assume that the right-hand side is the group of dictators, since otherwise we can move all but one agent to the other side by the uncompromising property. By induction, there should be a dictator in the group. And finally, we show that this dictator keeps to be the same agent regardless of the location of the non-dictator. So we are done with the deterministic case. Now we come to the really challenging part, randomized mechanisms. Randomized group strategy proof mechanisms can truly do more than the dictatorship in the deterministic case. We first consider the following mechanism, a variant of the prototype proposed by Prokash and Tannenhaus. In their one-dimensional setting, a 3 over 2 approximation for maximum cost is granted by randomly selecting the leftmost point, the rightmost point, and the midpoint. But in our multidimensional space, we can do no more than randomly selecting some agent, another agent, and the midpoint of the two agents. This mechanism is group strategy proof and 3 over 2 approximation for maximum cost when n equals 2 but it reduces to a trivial two approximation for any larger n. For social cost, it ensures an n over two approximation, but finally we will show that this is almost tight as well. In this mechanism, the output always lies between the two agents, x1 and x2 in this case, and this is called two dictatorial. However, there exist some strange mechanisms that are related to some constant. For example, this mechanism is really complicated. Let's look at these figures. The output y or y prime can be on the x1, x2 segment or on the x1, x3 segment, depending on whether x1 is on the right of the constant line or on the left. This strange mechanism is indeed group strategy proof, but clearly not translation invariant. Our characterization requires the translational invariance condition. This condition is quite natural in the facility location domain and also known as shift invariance and position invariance. Now we will prove that any unanimous translation invariant and group strategy proof mechanism in any strictly convex space is too dictatorial. Generally, the output can be a distribution over the whole space. This lemma reduces the output space into distributions and line segments. We define the centroid to be the main location of the output distribution. Consider the situation where all agents collaborate to misreport the centroid. By the unanimity, the output will be the centroid as well. By the convexity of the distance function, no agent would be worse off after misreporting. If the output is not deterministic, and the support of the output distribution does not lie on the segment between any two agents, then all agents can be strictly better off, which contradicts the group strategy proofness. Even if we know that the output is not deterministic, it still does not necessarily lie on the segment between the same two agents, and here our situation is very complicated. Then we aim to characterize the base case of three agents. This lemma shows that under some conditions, the output distribution can be relatively very close to the input of some agent and isolated from another agent. What does it mean? We have shown that the output either is deterministic or lies on the segment between some two agents. If the output is deterministic, we can directly move some agent to the output, and the output must not change by the uncompromising property, so this lemma is proved. Otherwise, we can assume that the output lies on the base of the triangle. If the output is not close to any agents, we try to move the base shorter or the legs longer while keeping the output on the base. 
If the output jumps from the base to a leg, we show that it would contradict the cost continuity. This is the pivot step of our final result. If we have a profile such that the output is relatively very close to an agent, as shown in this case, we can move the isolated agent to anywhere we want by steps, while keeping the output relatively very close to the fixed agent. Through extensive stochastic analysis, we can prove the two dictatorship in this base case. Theorem 2 generalizes the two dictatorship for any number of agents. By the base case, we can divide the agents into three groups, among which two will be the groups of two dictators. By fixing the location of a non-dictator to another agent, to bind them together, we can then construct an n-1 agent game, which is still unanimous translation invariant and group strategy proof, and thus two dictatorial by the induction assumption. We finally show that the two dictatorship in the reduced mechanism extends to all profiles no matter how the non-dictator locates. Our characterization of the two dictatorship is almost complete, but one remaining problem is whether or not the distribution between the two dictators can be affected by the other agents. The answer of this question we will close the gap for the social cost objective. The most challenging generalization of this work would be deriving characterization of randomized strategy proof mechanisms in multidimensional space. Yet there is no result in this setting, even in approximation view. We propose the following mechanism for better approximating the maximum cost. This mechanism is strategy proof and 2 minus 1 over n approximation for maximum cost in any normal vector space. It breaks the tight bound of group strategy proof mechanisms and provides positive implications. We believe that our approach and techniques could be helpful for future algorithmic studies and characterizations in this fundamental setting. Thanks for listening.